Tonight, a 10-year-old boy remains in the hospital after being shot Friday night, but the family again heard good news from doctors today. Andres Gutierrez has been following this story for us all weekend. He's live at Children's Mercy Hospital with what we learned today. Andres. Good evening, Lindsay. Doctors here at Children's Mercy have told the boy's family that the 10-year-old will be able to walk again. It's an outlook that's welcomed by the family on this Easter Sunday. On any other holy day, you would find Minister T. Darnell Tyson preaching to his congregation. On this resurrection day, our, my nephew is resurrected. However, on this Easter Sunday, he finds himself at Cavier Tyson's bedside. And one of the first things he said this morning is, I'm hungry. I haven't eaten in two days. <laughs> on Friday night, the 10-year-old boy sat in this car at the BP gas station on 45th and Cleveland as his dad, Cavier Curry, pumped gas. Before they left, the gunman shot and killed Curry. Tyson was hit by one of the bullets. At first, doctors told the boy's family they believed Tyson would be paralyzed from the chest down. Now, doctors tell the family the bullet struck Tyson's spine, but it wasn't severed. With extensive rehabilitation, Tyson will be able to walk again, although the boy doesn't know what happened to his father. That's one of the realities we're going to have to deal with that we don't want to put on him right now. Uh, because again, we have a child that's going to grow up without his father. A five year old boy, the child of a family friend, also witnessed the shooting from the car's back seat. He wasn't hurt. There are now pleas from both the community and family for the violence in Kansas City to end. We're encouraging, we're asking everybody to know something about that night or any other night. Please to stand with us because guess what? Those killers, they need prayer too. Yeah, we're hurting personally as families, but this should be hurting us as a community because this child's injury has affected everybody. That could have been your son. That could have been your nephew. A vigil is planned for tomorrow at 6 p.m. at the site of the shooting to honor Curry and other victims of violence in Kansas City. Reporting live tonight from Midtown Kansas City, I'm Andres Gutierrez, 41 Action News.